I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack Born a rock star in this life, gone live it up on the attack Baby, I'm bad, I just wanna get caught up in this life I'm crazy, I'm mad, doing no cap Only God wants you, better go live it up, cash in the bag, stadium pack It can be a little bad and predictable International Airport in Washington DC and I've been at Playlist Live this weekend and it's been so fun but sadly I'm flying home to Sweden today and it's a nine hour long flight so in this video I'm gonna try out some airport and airplane life hacks so let's get started when you're traveling you're probably bringing all of your chargers and people these days has so much electronics so my bag is like full of chargers and they make a mess and that can be really annoying. But to solve that you simply need a case of any kind, for example a sunglasses case but I didn't have that so I took my camera case and that worked just as well. So the only thing you need to do is put all of your chargers in the case and that will solve the problem. I actually think this hack worked so well, my bag got so much more clean, it was so much easier to actually reach the stuff that I actually needed without a bunch of chargers being in the way so I would definitely recommend this life hack. This next airplane life hack is so simple. The only thing you need to do is to always bring a pair of sunglasses on the plane even if it's a really rainy or cloudy day. Cause often once you get over the clouds it's usually really sunny and if you don't have a pair of sunglasses then that can be a problem. <laughs> so just always bring your sunglasses on the airplane. I promise it will help you so much and it feels so much nicer and you can fully enjoy the beautiful airplane view. I think this was probably one of the most helpful airplane life hacks. I use my huge sunglasses all the time and it also helped me fall asleep faster because it gave me kind of more darkness when it was really light on the plane so I would definitely give this life hack a thumbs up It's a really good opportunity to read on a plane but after a while, at least my eyes can get really tired from reading. It just doesn't work. So to solve this, there's plenty of apps to listen to audiobooks. Simply search up audiobooks in the Apple Store and it will just come up a bunch of them. I think this worked so good, so I will definitely give this a thumbs up. When you fall asleep faster you should take your shoes off if your body is cooler you're gonna fall asleep faster but I didn't really like this because I think it was really cold actually on the feed but definitely try it and see if it works for you Another hack to fall asleep faster is that you're supposed to book your seats on the side that you usually sleep on. So if you usually sleep on the right side, you're supposed to sleep also to the right side. So book your seat on the right side so you can sleep against the window. I tried this and I actually felt like it was easier to fall asleep on the right side, but I don't know if it was just imaginary or if it actually worked, but you know, I guess it's worth a try. <laughs> Often at airports you're in a hurry and then there's still lines. This can be really annoying, but there's actually a hack to make this a little bit smoother. So always choose the left line. Since most people are right-handed, they also tend to choose the right line. I was so surprised at this because the left line actually went so much faster. I don't know if it was just good luck or if it actually worked, but i definitely give this a thumbs up. Alright, so we just arrived in Sweden and I really hope you like these life hacks. I had so much fun trying them out and most of them worked really well. None of them were really extraordinary, like they worked okay, but I hope you got some tips on what you can do to make your traveling smoother and just more fun, I guess. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on Thursday. Bye!